Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're not new. Today I have a Louis Vuitton unboxing as you can see and I did buy this item online. I wanted to wait and buy it in store but I couldn't go to the store and I saw that this was in stock so I just decided to get it and I am kind of disappointed that I didn't get it before the price increase but it's okay so um, let's just get right into unboxing it. and here is the dust bag I got the Louis Vuitton Felicie Pochette in the monogram print in fuchsia and I was debating for so long which one I wanted because I was debating between this one and the dummy I've been print because I love the red interior there's just something about the red interior that I love but I kept going back and forth and it was so hard for me because I really love the red interior and if you tell me to choose between the red interior and this fuchsia color I would choose the red but because I already have a card holder in the fuchsia color I decided to just get the fuchsia one and now that I've seen it in person I am actually happy that I got the monogram print one I do still want the dummy event print someday but We'll see about that, but yeah, um, so this is how it looks, and I know that there's a lot of reviews out there about this item already, so I don't really need to say too much about it, but as you can see, it's just a regular crossbody bag, and one thing that a lot of people did say was the fact that it's kind of thin, so it probably won't fit a lot, but it's so gorgeous, I love it, and like I said, it is in the fuchsia interior, and it does come with the um, eight slot card holder and then it comes with just the little pouch that you can just put stuff in and then it does come with the gold chain which I love and then barcode and this item was made in Spain and I was a little bummed out that it wasn't made in France but it's okay because it's still gorgeous either way and I kind of already did inspect this item so as I can see everything looks pretty good I do really like how it comes with these two extra slots or pouches because I feel like you do get your money's worth with how much items you're getting just for one item and I don't really know if I'm going to use this little card holder thing because I feel like it takes up space and there's, I don't really need this much card anyway, so I probably won't always use that, but definitely I will use this with my other bags. I like how I could just use this as like a little mini catch-all and then just throw this into my Neverfulls or my other bags that I use, so this will be very convenient. And then the chain is just this regular gold chain and looks so gorgeous. And I'm just put it on okay. okay so this is basically how it would look i love it i have always wanted this item but i just never bought it because I just kind of feel like everybody had it and so I was like okay you know maybe I should try something else and that is the reason why I did buy the Saint Laurent envelope um, I'll put a picture here I did buy that bag but I decided to sell it because I didn't use it as much as I thought I would and I wanted something just a little bit smaller so that's the reason why I did get this one after selling the other one and I did sell it to a consignment store. I have wanted this bag for the longest. I cannot tell you guys how long I have been having this item in my mind. I just knew that someday I was going to get it. I just didn't know when. It took me a little longer because I couldn't debate if I wanted the dummy event print or if I wanted this one. And I did buy two non-branded straps from Amazon a long time ago because I did turn my cosmetic pouch and the PM size into crossbody bag and I bought these two straps for it so I just thought that I could use it with this bag as well and let's just see but they're just plain brown 
straps. It looks so gorgeous and it's made a very good material as well. So let me just attach it. And there you go. I feel that I can even get away with wearing it like this. It, it matches perfectly to the brown. It doesn't look like it's way off or anything like that. It looks like it matches the bag perfectly. So this is the longer one and I did buy the shorter strap because sometimes I do like my bags to sit a little higher. When I'm wearing dresses and stuff like that, I prefer my bag to sit a little higher. But when I'm wearing like just casual clothes and stuff like that, I don't mind if it's a little longer. So that's the reason why I did buy the shorter strap as well. But it just looks exactly like this. It's just a little shorter. But yeah, I love it like this as well. I feel like if I wanted to look even more casual, I will definitely wear it with this strap. And I feel like this strap will be much more comfortable than the chain would be. Even though the chain, the way it is designed, it is not bulky or anything like that so i'm pretty sure it's not going to give you any shoulder pain but i just feel like this strap will still be much more comfortable so i'm glad that i have these already so that i could just use it with it whenever i want to it looks so gorgeous i love it like i said i love it like this and i did buy the little small chain from Amazon as well and the other way that I do plan to wear it is let's see this little chain right here it's just a little small chain and I can also use this as a shoulder bag look at that you guys isn't that so cute I think that that is so cute. Now I could just wear it as a shoulder bag. Like maybe if I'm going on a date night or anything like that with my hubby, then I could just wear it as a shoulder bag. I did see that some people did use the actual chain and they do. So they looped it around the bag one time like so. And they did use it like this so that you get like a little bit longer strap but I'll most likely use this little chain that I got from Amazon a long time ago I was really excited when I finally got this bag because I was so excited to use it as a shoulder bag I don't have a lot of shoulder bag purses and so when I knew that I was going to be able to do this with it, I was so excited because there are some outfits that I feel like I want to wear something like this with it, but I didn't really have anything that would fit the style. But now that I have this, I love it and I'm definitely going to wear it like this. So that's how it looks. Let's try to put stuff in there and see what fits. So I'm just not going to put this pouch in there yet. Um, I'm probably not going to try it with this because I know for sure that I'm not going to use this. I probably will use this with my Neverfulls, but maybe not with this one because I feel like it's just going to take a lot of space. But let me just try to put stuff in there. And there is my card holder and then my coin pouch and then my AirPods and then probably going to put my perfume and then my chapstick and it fits nicely in there I have to say it does it does fit perfectly it does make the shape a little bit more bulkier but it's okay and as you can see it's definitely not gonna fit my phone but if I wanted to fit my phone in there I probably wouldn't carry my perfume or I probably wouldn't carry my coin pouch because I don't really like carrying my coins with me all the time anyways. So I'll probably put my phone in there and then I'll probably take my AirPods out too. And then I'll just keep my card holder, my phone, and my chapstick, just the essentials. And I feel like I will be perfectly fine with just this because when I go out, 
even if I'm running errands or anything like that, I don't really like to carry a lot of stuff anyways. These are like my daily life essentials. So that is really all I need. I don't really need to carry my AirPods or anything. Maybe if I take my AirPods out of the case and just carry it like this, maybe it'll fit. Yeah, I can try to make it fit. Yeah, it'll fit. So as you can see, it does fit with my AirPods without the case. So that's how it looks in there. So let me try to use the actual little pouches that came with it just to have an idea on what will fit. So I'm just gonna put my driver's license and stuff in here. card and then maybe just some cash I don't usually like to carry cash but for this purpose we'll just try it and then maybe for this little pouch I'll probably put my chapstick and my perfume in here it's a little bulky but it's okay so let's just try to put it in there now and maybe I could try to fit my phone um, it won't fit my phone because of the sock pocket, but if I was to take the phone case off and just carry the phone by itself, it'll fit. It's a little bulky, but I feel like this still, you could still definitely make this work. I feel like if you really, really want to use the actual pouches, you could definitely still make it work. It's just all about preferences. So the reason why I know that I won't use this as much as I use my card holders is because even though I switch my bags, I prefer to just use the same wallet or card holder when I switch in between my bags. It's kind of like a hassle for me to change my wallet out too. So I feel like if I'm not using this and I'm using this already, I might as well just take this out and just put it into the bag and go instead of trying to take everything out of this one and transfer it into this I just feel like it's a little bit too much work. So I just prefer to just have something that I already can just switch between my bags. And that's the reason why I feel like this one will most likely be the one that I use the most. So even though I know that I won't use these two as much, I just feel like it's still nice that it comes with it because like I said, it makes it worth the price because it makes you feel like you're getting three items instead of just one single item. So I do really like that. And plus I do see a lot of like consignment stores and resellers they sell these items individually and they sell it for pretty expensive they'll sell this bag for like 1100 and then this little card holder thing they'll sell it for like two three four hundred depending and then same thing with this little pouch they'll send they'll sell it for around 400 as well so if you think about it that's a lot so right now this item retails for $1,490 before tax and I think that it is just so ridiculous i'm not going to lie i have wanted this item for a very long time and i do really regret that i didn't get it when it was still just 1100 even after tax but i didn't really want it at the time because like i said of course i had other bags that i wanted to buy before this so then that's why i waited but now it increased and it's 1490 before tax which is really ridiculous because after tax and stuff you could basically say you paid 1600 for it even though this bag is still a little bit cheaper i just kind of feel like with this price you could probably add three four more hundred dollars and get the alma bb instead because the alma bb is actually much more worth it in my opinion so i wouldn't prefer this as your first louis vuitton item if you were looking to buy something from louis vuitton as your first piece i would recommend getting the alma bb instead because this item even though it is really cute i just feel like with the size and everything it's just not really worth it as much as the alma bb would be so, but of course it's really up to you depending on what you want what you're looking for and one thing that i was really worried about when i was Debating about this bag is that this item if you see the flap right here it is just like the Sarah wallet and the same as my Emily wallet and as I have mentioned before that as you use it it's gonna start lifting right here 
just because you put stuff in there and then the way it's laying on the bag it's just gonna lift on its own there's just nothing you could do about it even if you try to prevent that from happening it's still gonna happen just because of the canvas that was one of the main things that made me really hesitant about buying this item but I tell myself that every bag is gonna have its own wear and tears and even though I didn't like that that happened to my Emily wallet even though I used it less than five times I feel like with this item I will kind of overlook it because this will be an everyday bag so what that means is that I would not baby this as much as I would baby my other items so I do feel that even though that's going to happen I know for sure that I can overlook that but if that's something that you do not like then this definitely won't be for you because it's going to happen no matter what regardless of how careful you are even if you try not to pull it from the flaps or anything like that it's gonna happen there's just no way around it unfortunately all right everyone so that is the end of my unboxing video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please like and subscribe click the notification bell so you guys get notified every time i upload i would love to have you guys back here i hope to see you guys in my next video bye